Hi! Is your iPad keyboard no longer working? I found a less expensive solution and allow me to share that with you today. I have an old 2017 iPad Pro whose keyboard stopped working. And uh, the iPad is a very important gadget for me because I use it for presentations and I use it for workshops. But during the pandemic, I began to switch also the, and, and repurpose the unit. So I used it for online workshops where drawing or board work was uh, part of the class. Now that it is not working anymore, uh, I wanted to replace the keyboard with a new one. It still led me back to the Apple Store. And guess what? The price of the original keyboard is still close to 10,000 pesos. Is there a more economic w economical way to solve this particular challenge? I experimented on two keyboards that I have here with me at home. The first is the Apple Magic Keyboard. This is the first version that actually runs on uh, two AA batteries. And uh, the second-hand uh, market sells it for about 2,500 pesos. And then the new ones are about 4,000 pesos. And the other gadget I have here at home is the Logitech uh, K380. It is also a Bluetooth keyboard. And in Lazada, this costs about 1,500 to 1,600 pesos. And if you buy the one that has the Bluetooth mouse, that one will set you back another 500 or 800 pesos. So the range is somewhere between 1,600 to about uh, 2,300 uh, pesos in Lazada. Now, for the, for the mouse, I have two options. I also have a Magic Mouse, which is the first version. This one runs on two AAA batteries. And this is about $65 in the Apple Store, so about 3,000 pesos. And I also bought a Swift Point mouse. And uh, this is the Kickstarter edition, which I bought online for about uh, US dollar 75 when did I buy it? About three years back. And it is still, it's still working. I use it essentially for uh, clickers, you know, as a clicker for my presentation. But I also looked around for a generic magnetic cover in Lazada, and I found one for about 550 pesos. So that's about $12. What I will do is pair the Apple keyboard and the mouse on the iPad Pro. Okay, so um, I have the, the keyboard here. And then that's what's good with uh, an Apple device. It's immediately detected. So you enter the passcode. And then I just turn on the, the switch. And then there's the mouse already. Okay, so there's the pairing request. And then it's connected. So you notice that it's already live because um, the pointer already begins to show. I'm going to, to open a page file, the equivalent of Microsoft Word. And it's pages in, in Apple. And so click plus and then click blank. And then you can type away. Uh, this is a text using... Uh, BT keyboard from an Apple. There, that's so cool. If if you have this mouse, just go to the Apple Store and then look for Swift Point, and uh, it will install the the program and. Uh, it will put it on your on your machine, so you will find it as Swift Point. Uh, you notice uh, it, it will automatically say it's connected. So um, here I'm using the the mouse now, so you can see that uh, it's moving. I can actually um, manipulate using the mouse, and then let's go to settings also, 
and then I'll turn on the I will turn on the K380 and you notice uh, you will automatically find the the keyboard pairing request okay just click that and uh, the keyboard is automatically now connected so you have both the pro point and the keyboard uh, detected by uh, by the ipad so let's just open a document and then you can just click plus and then click recent okay so testing using the logitech keyboard there you go so uh, that's the first pair that we'd like to to show you and so this is so convenient because you have a mouse and at the same time you have a keyboard and best of all it's not necessarily um, apple it's it's third party so incidentally uh, the same solution will work on uh, on other ipads so i i, ha I also have an, a mini 4 an ipad mini 4 with me and i use the same procedure to connect um, both uh, the keyboard and uh, the mouse on that gadget as well so to my surprise so i didn't really try it before because that keyboard was there and now perhaps necessity is the mother of uh, curiosity so i'm giving you the links below just in case you want to check these items out and uh, these suggestions will save you about 140 us dollars or 6500 pesos of course the downside to it is that uh, you will end up bringing a keyboard with you when you are mobile. But given the mobility restrictions of the pandemic, it might be a while until we can re really uh, freely move about. And so uh, if you found uh, the tip helpful, please do not forget to subscribe, to like, and share the video to your friends whose keyboards might not be working at this time. So my name is Venen, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you very much. Bye.